So what's up guys? I'm going to show you something really insane that I've been working on for quite some time now. So as you know, baking a blender is extremely annoying. So you have to go material by material. You have to add a image texture just like that, create it, and you have to copy it over in each material. And if on accident you don't have it active or you have your leather texture active, it's going to bake on that leather texture. If you want to change resolution, you know how it goes. It's, it's extremely annoying, especially if you're baking big objects with many materials. Uh, and even worse, um, so for many games engines, Unity, Unreal, or GLBs, USDZs, you need a metallic pass. Guess what? There is no metallic pass. So, and even worse, if you bake normals, it just merges all the normals. And to make it even worse, you can't even merge all these materials into one. So you're still going to be stuck with all these materials. So I made an extremely insane add-on. Easy bake. Baking has never been this easy. I'll just show you some features that you have never seen before in all of your life. Uh, but then I'll show you the main features. So. First of all is Shadow Catcher. So you can just bake a Shadow Catcher with one click and it's done. You can bump up the contrast if your shadow is too wide and there you go. You can just hit Shadow. So here it is. You just hit Shadow and there it is. And you're like, wait, the plane is too small. You just make it bigger and rebake. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, you can bake it into alpha when you save the images onto your desktop. Where is it? Right here in any format. So you can store it in alpha, which is also insane because guess what? Blender uh, mm -hmm. does not even have alpha in the separate notes. So how are you going to pack something into alpha? It's quite complicated in Blender. It's really not that easy. You actually need the compositor to do that or Photoshop. But guess what? This add-on just does it with Python. So it's actually doing things Blender actually could not even do. So what's crazy. Um, let me show the next crazy feature. So we have uh, this is nothing special, just some materials. So now we're getting to the bit normal baking modes. You can just hit base color, metallic, uh, roughness. By the way, there's also smoothness for Unity. And uh, Amity Occlusion I'll show you real quick and Clear Coat I'll show you real quick. And you'll see if I bake, it's going to be something close to black or completely wrong. I should have showed you with less maps because it will cycle through all, but there's real time and you see it's broken. You're like, wait a moment, the add-on is fucking shit. No, actually, it's really cool. You click on this and you need light map UVs. I'll show you on the door. It makes perfect light map UVs with packing. So it takes some seconds. That's why I have this enable auto. So you don't accidentally override your UVs, uh, especially if you have a full car. So now we're just going to rebake and you're just going to get, oh, the next thing I forgot to do, it's actually good. I'm showing you all these errors. So it's wrong again because you have to obviously select the correct UV map to bake on. And now you go. Actually, was good. I showed you these errors. So now it's going to bake it correctly. And then I'll show you the insane feature. So now you have a one to one version of this. I forgot to add normals um, with one material. So it merges all into a full PBR bake. And the best part is ambient occlusion. There is no ambient occlusion input in the principal shader. So it creates this. And this is not any node. Some of you maybe know it. This is necessary for GLBs and other real time uh, formats to represent ambient occlusion. It can't be shown in Blender. But if I hook it up, you see it did bake ambient occlusion. Okay, so the next insane feature that I was actually going to show you is bevel. You just saw the model I just deleted. I should have kept it, but look now. So we're going to bake it. This is all real time, by the way. Um, and you have bevels. So you can bake bevels into the models. I've never seen this feature ever. And this is extremely helpful because many models, CAD models, are like this cube, so they don't look very good. In rendering, they look good, but in real time, they don't. They do not look good. So you can just bake bevels with one click and disable it. So that's also very insane. And now, also some pretty crazy stuff. Um, you can just click Combined Bake Unlit and just keep it on Combined. You just hit Bake, and now look at this. Oh, it's black. So good. I'm showing you errors because there is no UVs. So we're gonna create a auto map UV, and there you have it—a perfectly packed door. Disable it. Bake again. Uh, I probably didn't select it. Uh, in this case, in the combined mode, you actually don't have selected. So you have a perfect combined bake. And what you can also do is, for example, just click ambient occlusion. Oops, you have to have it active. Ambient occlusion. And there you have ambient occlusion. Have you ever baked ambient occlusion this extremely fast in your life? You can just rebake it with one sample. And there you have it. So you have one material with that thing on there. And you can use any pass that Blender offers, but metallic and stuff is missing. So this is a special thing for special occasions that you might want to do it. Um, you can just bake the normals out like that. Here you have the flakes. Um, yeah, obviously, you can just change the resolution. 
Uh, okay, uh, the next pretty cool thing is, so I s showed you that you can bake any pass and it will create the materials. So another thing that you may have never seen anywhere, you can just bake a Unity Mask map or or uh, ORM uh, or MRG map, which is insane. So let's do that real quick. So we'll automatically um, select the passes that you'll need where it wants to store all the data, the smoothness map, a metallic and a AO. No detail map because yeah, there is no detail in the principal shader. So we're just going to bake that. It's going to take a few seconds. As I mentioned, this is all real time. This will take a little bit longer. So each time it does multiple passes. If you would do all the passes, it will obviously take longer. <coughs> so. Almost done. Probably the I mean, inclusion that takes longer. Oops, I accidentally went to render mode. So here you have this crazy map. I'm going to hook it up. Some of you know these maps. So they look that crazy because it's stored per channel. So the metallic is in G, the um, ambient occlusion is in R, and the smoothness is in R alpha and here again it was stored in alpha good luck storing anything in alpha by default in blender not that easy yeah this is insane and even better oh you thought these were all the passes you can do no there's secondary oh, and channel secondary passes you can bake any channel you want of the principal shader and in these materials it doesn't matter if you have a texture connected or not it reads these values and it reads the it doesn't matter how complex your node setup is it will always chop it right here um so yeah it will just always work so this is insane um, i've never seen anything like this i know there's a competitor but i don't think it really competes with this um, this is just insane so it's only 15 dollars at the moment uh, by the way if you get weird settings you can just reset all settings it will reset everything this is just insane. Uh, give me feedbacks if you have any, if you if there's some features or even bugs since it's new. This is the first launch, but it should work perfectly. Um, yeah, that's it for today. That's what I wanted to share with you. It's called Easy Bake, by the way. I should have mentioned that all this video. Uh, that's it. And have fun with it. This is insane. Um, yeah, we're using this daily at the moment. Um, and yeah. Oh, there is also, I didn't show you, but it actually bakes. Okay, oh my god, okay, this is the bonus material. So it will actually bake and glow. I've never seen this either. It's going to create a real emission map. So let's just go to emission. Oh, by the way, one downside, but there's no way around this. It only works with the principal shader. So if you start adding crazy glossy shaders and stuff into the surface, it won't work. So it only works with the principal shader, but I guess that's kind of obvious because how else? Should it read the principal passes if you're not using the principal shader? So, uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you real quick. So we need a light map on this thing. Uh, oops. Uh, in special, enable light map. I'm going to unwrap it real quick. There you have it, light map. And now we're going to use the emission samples map. So good luck baking that. Um, and here you have that map. Look, that's insane. So you already see it's glowing here. Um, yeah, you can't really do that with the standard default blender. Um, you just get a nice glowing emission map. Um, so you can, on cars, if you have interior LEDs, headlights, whatever, you can bake a real emission map that can be read by any game's engine. Yeah, so by the way, uh, if you don't want to merge all the materials, by the way, so uh, you can also do this. Um, so you can also override your model. I wouldn't recommend it. Always keep it on duplicate so it doesn't break your model, but you could override it if you want, if you're r feeling risky. Um, you yeah. can bake multiple uh, materials at once, uh, multiple objects at once. And what I just want to show you, one feature, keep separate. So if you just want to bake ambient occlusion into the store, uh, check that you have the right light map selected. You just hit bake. I'll just quickly show you. It works with any pass. And it will combine any pass. So there you have it. So you still have all the materials here. It didn't break anything. And all it did was wait. And all it did was add ambient occlusion with the correct light map. Where is it here? So all it did was that per material. So you're probably gonna need that as well. And what you can also do is uh yeah, for example, um, yeah, yeah, base color, I guess. Let's do base color. But I don't have crazy nodes set up on the base color, but it will merge all the nodes into one texture of base color or anything you select. Let's do that real quick. That's the last thing. And then I'll stop talking about this add-on. Just want to quickly show you. So, oh my God, so many messages. Uh easy bake. Baking has never been this easy.